For this project, any Category 3 yarn will work, but I use two skeins of Baby Burnett Softy in the color Soft Plum. As for tools, a 4mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, tape measure, and elastic. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are first going to grab our category 3 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 4mm hook and start off by making a chain that can fit around the bottom of our bust loosely. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 125 or that comes out to 28 inches or 71 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is just slip stitch it into the first chain that we made, but we are first going to run our thumb just along one side, making sure that it is not twisted. And once we know that it's not twisted, we are going to insert our hook into that first chain that we made. And then from here, we're just going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook with a slip stitch. And from here, we should have a decent sized circle. And what we're going to do from here is just go into every chain that we have with a single crochet. But for this first row, since we are doing this in two pieces, this is going to be the bottom band. We're going to first start going into the spine of our chain. So what we're going to do is do a chain up of one. And this is exactly the same as what we would be doing. But instead of going into just any one of these random loops, we're going to flip our work over. And then we can see that there are some very clear loops along the bottom of our chain. We're just going to be working into there. And this can be applied to this piece or any piece. It's actually really great because you get a really clean bottom along the other side. So what we're going to do is just turn our work and we're going to insert our hook into the spine of our chain. And then we're going to go in with a single crochet. Let's just do the next one together and let you guys do the rest on your own. So we're going to insert our hook into this one loop that we have and then single crochet. And if you guys want to take a look at the bottom, it's nice and clean. But go ahead and keep doing this going all the way down and slip stitch into that chain up of one space that we made for ourselves. All right, so we have just made our way around with our first row of our single crochet and now we are going to close off our bottom band with a row of shells. So how we're gonna do that is just start off by doing a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. And for this first shell, we're going to go in with another half double crochet into the same stitch that we're already in. So prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, yarn over, and pull through three. Once we have that, we are going to start off the middle portion of our shell by doing a chain out of three, and then we're going to slip stitch into that first chain that we made for ourselves. So go ahead and insert your hook into that loop, yarn over, and pull through. Once when we have that, we are going to do two more half double crochets into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull through three. That is one half double crochet. We got one more to do into that same stitch. So prepare, into that same stitch, pull through, and pull through three. And our first shell is all finished up. And what we're gonna do from here is just go in with a row of a bunch of them. So we're gonna do the next one together and then you guys got the rest on your own. What we're going to do from here is prepare for a half double crochet and we're going to count out three stitches. Here's one, two, three. We're going to insert our hook into that fourth with another shell. So here is one half double crochet. And then here is another one into that same stitch. Once we have that, we are going to be doing a chain out of three. We're going to slip stitch it into that first chain that we made, yarn over, pull through everything and then do two more half double crochets into that same stitch. So here is one, and here's two. And go ahead and keep doing this all the way down. All right, so we have just made our way all the way around the entirety of the bottom band that we have just made for ourselves. And now we're going to slip stitch it into our chain up of two, and then we're gonna do a chain up of one and cut. So we're gonna count up one, two, into the original chain up of two that we did into this row with a slip stitch we're going to do a chain up of one and then we're going to cut and then go ahead and grab your elastic because we're going to get started along the top portion now 
All right, so this is what we should have once when we have cut and tied the bottom border. And now we're going to introduce our elastic. And doing the elastic, there's not going to be any real rhyme or reason to this. Just go ahead and put this up to yourself and make sure that it is comfy and it is tight enough to fit around you, but also still has stretch so that we can pull it over our shoulders when we put it on and take it off. So I have already measured mine out and I have cut and I have tied it together and it is nice and snug for me. But I just measured out a total of 20 inches or 51 centimeters. And that gave me just a little bit of extra room so that I had this space so that I can tie a really secure knot. But once when we have our elastic all set into place, then we can introduce it into our bottom band. So at this point, we can insert our hook into any loop. It doesn't matter which one. Going to insert our hook. And then from here, we're going to take our elastic and just place that onto our hook. And then we're going to grab our working yarn, make a slip knot, and then place that on top of our hook on top of our elastic. So taking our working yarn, we're just going to place it on our hook. And then from here, we're just going to hold our elastic down where it's at. We're going to pull that piece through and do a chain up of one. And now our elastic is nice and secure. And I will say that if you guys don't have elastic, you guys are more than welcome to not use it. Go ahead and just weave in a drawstring at the end or leave it loose, whatever you guys want to do. But for anyone at this point, we are still going to go in with the same amount of increases for this row. So we're going to go in with a total of four single crochets making sure that our elastic is being interweaved and then we're going to do an increase into the fifth so let's just do this first one together what we're going to do is insert our hook into that next available stitch that we have making sure that our elastic is just laying right on top of the loop that we just inserted our hook into and from here we're just going to single crochet like normal this whole part that we're going to do we're going to make sure that our elastic is just laying on top of the loop that we have just recently inserted our hook into so that it is interwoven. And for this portion, I'm gonna go in with four single crochets. So there's two, there is three, and then there's one more, and then we get to do our increase into the fifth. So there's our four single crochets. Into that fifth, we're gonna insert our hook, put one single crochet into there, and then we're gonna insert our hook into that same stitch with one more single crochet. And we're just going to maintain that pattern going all the way down four singles increase into the fifth four singles increase into the fifth and then once when you guys get closer to the other end it is going to shrink up quite a bit but go ahead and just pull some slack for yourself when it comes to the elastic and then it'll all work out and i'll meet you guys back at the end of this row okay so we have just made our way all the way back around and we have inserted our elastic and we did our increases into every fifth stitch and now from here, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every front loop. So how that's going to work is just prepare for a single crochet by doing a chain up of one. And then we're going to put one single crochet into every front loop that we have going all the way around. And then once when we get to this last stitch that we have going into the front loop, we are actually going to continue going into the back loop because that is how we are going to have our wrap look so i'll meet you guys back once we get our way all the way down to this last loop that we have and then i'll show you guys how we're going to go in with our back loop single crochets underneath this first layer all right so we have just made our way all the way around doing our front loop single crochets and we made it over to this last stitch and now we're actually going to start working into these back loops that we have left for ourselves but before we start doing that we are going to want to try this on and when we try this on this middle part that we have right here, this is actually going to be turned over to our side because this is going to be where the point of our triangle starts. So once when this is over here, we're going to want to insert a stitch marker into a similar point on the other side, and this is going to be where the other triangle starts. So this part is going to be completely up to you guys, depending on where you guys want your triangles to start and end. I'm just having mine on opposite sides of each other just so that it is ensured that the triangles are going to be long enough to cover me. But once when we have inserted this stitch marker, we're just going to go in with single crochets going into the back loops until we hit that stitch marker. So just to do the first few with each other, we are going to be inserting our hook into this first available loop and single crochet and just to do the next next available loop and single crochet. Go ahead and keep doing this until you guys hit your next stitch marker. So we have just made our way all the way down doing our back loop single crochets going along the back half of our front loop single crochet row. So this is technically still our first row. But from here, we're actually just going to start going in with our triangle. 
So how we're going to start that off is by doing a chain up of two. That counts as a half double crochet. And then we are going to flip our work. And now that we have our chain up of two, we are going to prepare for half double crochet and then into that first stitch that we have into this row. So not into any of the chains, we're going to go in with two half double crochets. So into that first stitch, we're going to go in with one half double. And then here is two half doubles. And then once we have that, we are now going to slip stitch it into the base. So how we're going to do that is count up one, two stitches and slip stitch into that base. Once we have that, we are now going to start working up with our triangle. So in order to work our way up to the next row, we will be slip stitching up the next two available loops as well. That counts as our half double crochet and we're going to flip our work. And now that we have this super itty bitty triangle, we're now going to start working into this bit right here. So from here for this row and every row until we hit our stitch marker on the other side, we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet while maintaining an increase into this outside loop. So since we have two stitches right here, we're going to prepare for a half double, go into that first back loop with a half double crochet. And then from here, we're at our last stitch. So we're going to go into there with two back loop, half double crochets into that same stitch, just like that. And once we have that, we will flip our work and do the next row together. So start off by doing a chain up of two, flip our work. And since we're at this outside stitch, go in with two back loop, half double crochets into there. So here is one and here is two. And once we have that, we're just going to be putting one back loop, half double crochet into each of the next stitches that we have. So there is one back loop, half double, and there is our second back loop, half double, and let's connect it into the base together. Just one more time. Once we're working our way down towards the base, we're going to slip stitch it into that second stitch that we have. So count up one, count up two, slip stitch it into there. And now this row is all closed off and in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches from here, flip our work and then put one back loop, half double crochet into every stitch while always maintaining the increase of two back loop, half doubles on this outside stitch. And we're just going to keep going back and forth like that while our triangle eventually gets bigger and bigger because we're doing our increases along the side. And we're going to keep going just like that until we hit our stitch marker on the other side. And we also just want to make sure that when we're going in with our triangle section, we are ending at the base. So where the bottom portion is, if you guys are at the top, go ahead and just do one more row coming back down, or you can cut and tie and then insert your hook into the bottom, but just make sure that we're at the bottom so that we don't have to do any extra weaving in later, but now go ahead and do your rows and then I'll meet you guys back. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with one of our triangles and we have all ended on the bottom. And what we're going to do from here is try this on and then we're going to be inserting a stitch marker right where our underarm is. And this is going to be a solid portion that goes from this triangle over to the other side of the triangle. And then we're going to start it on that side as well. So just make sure that this fits and this is a secure spot for your back. And the place that I inserted my stitch marker from the bottom going up is my 15th stitch or that's a total of four inches or 20 centimeters. And then right before we actually get into this next row, what we're going to do is count out the amount of stitches that we used going from this first row all the way down to where we ended. So the easiest way to do that is just count every row that we made from this point all the way down to the end, multiply it times two since we were going into every second stitch. And then once when we have this number all figured out, what we're going to do is go into that first single crochet that we made into this previous row where we did our front loop single crochets. And we're going to count out the same amount of stitches, insert our stitch marker into that last stitch. And then from here, when we're going in with our back piece, it's all going to be a solid block. So it's going to be this going all the way around until we hit this stitch marker. And then from here, we're going to go in with the height of our triangle and then we're going to make our way down. Once we have all of that figured out, we are now all ready to get started on our back piece. So to get this started, I'm going to be slip stitching into the next two available loops that we have into the base just like how we've been doing so there is one there is two once we have that we will be flipping our work and then putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch that we have until we hit our stitch marker and now that we have gone in with our back loop half double crochets until we hit our stitch marker what we're going to do from here is go up with a chain up of two 
flip our work and then work our way back down with back loop half double crochets connecting into the base just like how we've been doing and we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we hit this stitch marker right here where we're ready to get started with our next triangle piece so i'll meet you guys back once when we make our way all the way around Alrighty, so we have just finished up going all the way across with our back pretty simple and what we're going to do now is get started on our triangle so what we're going to have to do is actually get started on the tall portion that we have of our triangle first and then do half double crochet decreases going down making sure that we're going in through this portion of our single crochet and that will create our fold so what we're going to need to do from here is figure out where we ended so since i ended up here mine is going to be fairly easy i'm just going to start off by making a chain of the same amount of stitches that i have from right here going all the way up to my corner but if you guys ended at the bottom, do not fret. You guys can either do your half double crochets going back up, or if that takes up too many stitches, you guys can go in with a row of single crochets going up, and then once when you're up at this corner, go in with our chain count of however many stitches we have over here. It'll all end up the same. So I have already figured mine out. I have a total of 17 stitches from this point up to the corner. So I'm gonna start off by making a chain of 17. So now that we have our chain, what we are going to do from here is first go in with a decrease of two half double crochets. So we're going to block off this last chain and do our chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. And we are going to automatically start working in with our decreases. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then go into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. We're going to insert our hook into there, yarn over, pull through that stitch. And then from there, we are also going to be inserting our hook into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and we should have four loops on our hook. From here, we're just going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. And once when I can get my hook through, that is that. We're going to go all the way down, putting one half double crochet into every stitch. And then once we make our way over to the back portion, we're going to continue going in with back loop half double crochets connect it into the base the same way that we have been connecting it and then we're going to work our way back up with back loop half double crochets but we are going to leave the last two stitches so that i can show you guys how to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets again just one more time all right so we are back and we have just made our way all the way back down with our row of back loop half double crochets and we have left our last two stitches and we're just going to do another decrease of two back loop half double crochets together and then we will just continue doing the same pattern going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left to go into when it comes to here it is when it comes to our front loop only single crochet section that we started off this entire body portion with so let's just do our decrease we're going to prepare for a half double crochet insert our hook into that next back loop yarn over pull through that next back loop yarn over pull through that loop we should have four loops on our hook yarn over it and pull through all four do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then start this next row by doing a back loop half double crochet decrease of two. And we're just gonna keep working back and forth like that until we get to this other front loop only single crochet section, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our other triangle, and we have made our way all the way down to this point, and I did do a chain up of one cut because we have nothing else to do here. But the next thing we're going to do is just finish up going in with the back, and all we're going to do is try this on at this point and then just measure from this edge of the triangle across our back to the other edge of our triangle. And we're going to take that measurement and just subtract a few inches because we're gonna to need to put in some elastic. And just make sure that when you guys are cutting just a few inches from the measurement that we have right here, we're not pulling too many because otherwise it'll pull the triangles. So as an example, I needed a total of 19 inches. So I went ahead and cut 16 inches or 41 centimeters. And then once we have this all cut up, what we're going to do is just tie the two ends together and then single crochet across. So what I like to do is just take my hook and then insert it into this corner loop that I have right here in between where the triangle shoots straight up to our back. We're going to insert our elastic onto our hook pull through and then just make a really tight knot and then do the same thing on the other end. And once when we have our elastic nice and settled in, what we're gonna do is just go across with a row of single crochets 
and we're just going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into each of our side half double crochets. So just to get this started, we are going to be inserting our hook into the same loop that we inserted our elastic into. So the one that is right in between this triangle part that shoots straight up and our back piece. We're going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, it's going to be exactly like how we inserted our elastic on the other side. We're just going to make sure that our elastic is hanging out right on top of the next loop that we're about to go into. So my next loop just so happens to be this next side half double crochet right here. So we're going to be inserting our hook into there, making sure that our elastic is right on top. And then we are going to single crochet. And into this next side half double crochet, we're going to go into there with two single crochet. So there is one and there is two. And we're just going to keep alternating between one single crochet to two into each side half double crochet going all the way down. Once we make our way down to the end, we are going to slip stitch it into the loop that we have tied this tail end of our elastic into. Do a chain up of one and cut and then I'll meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with a row of single crochet over our back piece and we are nearly done. Now we just need to go in with a little front triangle detail and our strap, but that's all going to be done in one piece. So the first thing we're going to have to do is try on our piece and then figure out where we want our back straps to fall. I have already inserted my stitch markers and I want mine to be just about 20 loops in from the edge of our triangle. And we are also going to want to measure from the tip of the triangle that we have going up and over our shoulder and down to the stitch markers that we just placed for ourselves and that is going to be our strap length as well. But once when we have that, what we're going to do is work on one of our triangles and then I'll let you guys do the other one on your own because it's exactly the same. But what we're going to do is first insert our hook into one of the loops that we have into our base single crochet. So we're not going to go into this first side half double. We're just going to find any one of these single crochets that is near the corner of our triangle. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Now once when we have that, we are going to go all the way up to the point of our work with a bulb is what we're going to call it. And all that is is putting a single chain of three and single into each side half double crochet that we have. So let's do the first one together. Taking a look at this first side half double, it may be a little difficult to find, but it is right there. We're going to go in with a single crochet. So there is one, and then we're going to go in with a chain of three. So there's one, two, three, and making sure that we're going into the same side half double crochet. We're going to go in with another single crochet, and that is our bulb. Let's do the next one together, and then I'll let you guys go from there. So finding our next side half double, we're going to insert our hook into there, single crochet once, and then do a chain up of one, two, three, into that same stitch, go in with a single crochet. And that is pretty much it. We're gonna keep doing this going all the way up until we hit the corner. And then once we hit the corner, I will meet you guys back, but all we're going to be doing is just making a chain that goes up and over our shoulder and then we're going to slip stitch it into where we have our stitch marker. So I'll meet you guys back once we make our way over to this corner. All right, so I am all done with our bulbs going all the way up to the corner of our triangle and I have already made my chain just to make sure I'm giving you guys the right chain count. But from here, going all the way back to the back piece that I have, I'm gonna make a total of 15 inches or 38 centimeters or a total of 62 chains. And then from here, all I'm going to do once when I have my chain is slip stitch it into the loop that we have our stitch marker into. We're gonna take this guy out. And then yarn over it and pull through everything. And we are all done with this side. Go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut and do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. And then I will meet you guys back. All right, so we have just finished up going in with both of our straps with our triangle details, and we are actually all finished up. The last thing that we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. We've woven in our ends, and this is our finished wrap top. We've gotten a lot of requests to make this top into a written pattern, so we decided to make a new tutorial to go with it. 
And I've forgotten how much fun this top is to make because it works up super fast and it's really easy to make. The written pattern is down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by submitting any questions for a frequently asked questions video we'll be doing soon. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. Be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. And link to our Etsy pages down there too if you want to buy this piece and any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one.